look, Lou, these visits are for us to talk. We have to talk. If you feel ashamed or, or embarrassed, I can tell you right now, there's, there's no reason to be. More soldiers return home from combat with PTSD than the military is ever willing to admit. This is a safe place. This is a place where if you allow yourself to open up, then you can be treated. Otherwise, why show up, man? I wanted to check on you. You need to get back stateside. Night before last? You home for long? I'm thinking about doing another tour. Yeah? <laughs> Little sis all grown up. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. How do you forget about all the death and the bad stuff? I don't forget. You can't forget about that. How do you do it? I give it away. I give it all up to God. Prayer is what gets me through. You still praying? I can't get that Iraqi lady out of my head. Every time I close my eyes, every time I try to go to sleep, it's the same thing. I wake up feeling like I'm still there. Like the whole thing just happened just five minutes before. I see the blood, I see that lady screaming. We Christian, we Christian, we Christian. Why you shoot us? Why you shoot us? That mistake cost that woman people she love. And I gotta live with that now. I just wish that. Have you have you tried to contact her? Who? The woman. Contact the woman. What are you talking about? Well, she might be out there somewhere. She might have a email, a Facebook. My name is Lou Larman. 
I'm not sure if you remember me, or maybe you do remember me. We, we met April 8th, 2003, um, in Iraq. Um, I was with Fox Company, 2nd Battalion, 23rd Marine Regiment. I'd really like to, sp to speak with you. I was one of the men who killed your family. Yes. His name is Isaiah. Spelled like Isaiah? <laughs> yes. That's my father's name. What well, was, was my father's name? It's from the Bible. Do you read Bible? I used to. Not so much anymore. Mm. I'm really surprised you agreed to see me. When I saw your message, I think he found me. He wants to kill me. But in my fear, I looked into Lord's word. Second Corinthians 2.7 says, now instead, you ought to forgive and comfort him so he will not be overwhelmed by sorrow. It's done. You take it. You have been forgiven, Lou. You are my brother. We are brother and sister. I'm so sorry. Romans 5.15 But the gift is not like the trespass. For if the many died by the trespass of the one man, how much more did God's grace and the gift that came by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow to the many?